I'm back. This is Chandler from Melda Production. Recently somebody asked me about making their own M cabinet devices. Of course you might like the different sounds you get out of M cabinet, but many people have different IRs that they personally like and you know they speak to them or ones maybe they made themselves. Today I'm going to show you how you can create your own device in M cabinet and you can add those to it. So you can have all the convenience of M cabinet, but you can have your own sounds. Let's get started. If you look at this one here, you see normal device, but it has this character section. This is good for IRs that don't have lots of resonances, but if you make your own IRs or using a commercial IR, it probably already has the resonances in there and you don't need any more. It's going to make it sound bad. So we need a device that doesn't have this to use as its template. Of course, you can make your own device from scratch, but I'm going to show you an easier way that doesn't use that. And uh, instead of the character, let's look for one here. You see, this doesn't have a character section. It just has an extra EQ. So you can increase the uh, amount of mids or highs, etc., as you see fit, which is more useful. What we're going to do is take this and use this as our template to make your own maybe, custom device. First thing we're going to do is just save this on whatever name you want. Let's call it blank. Still looks the same and it still has the GUI. We want to get rid of the GUI. So what we're going to do is go into edit, go into menu and reset the device info. This is going to take off like the name, uh, the you know other things in there. Like if you look at export device, you see, oh, there's a bunch of information. We don't want that. So we just go into reset device info, look at the edit, everything's gone. It doesn't have the GUI or anything. We're going to save that again. This is just going to be our blank template. From here, we're going to add the IRs. That's probably what you want. Let's get into that. We have the profile mixer and you can load them in here by using mix and clicking this, which is a new feature. But I'm going to use the profile mixer here and I'm just going to add them in. So one through four. Add this one, one, drag and drop. Two. Three. And last one. Four. If you don't want to do it that way, you can look in here and analyze the IR too. That's another way you can do it. Now that we have that, I'm going to click on Profile Mixer again, and let me turn on my guitar and let's see if they actually sound different. So, turn this on. So I think all these sound different. You don't want the same one there because it's not going to make it much of a difference if you blend between them. So I think this is good. Of course, you probably want to rename this. So let's just go into X here. And if you want to know how to make these XY pads, all you have to do is use a bank control here. Click XY pad between banks like this. Make an X parameter and then make a Y parameter like this with nothing in it right next to it. it has to be an adjacent slot for the MPs. So we had this in there, and if we want to change the names, all we have to do is just go here and name it whatever we want. So we'll just call this like good, better, best, awesome. And now we can like blend between all four of these. Also, some devices let you blend multiple besides actually all of them let you blend more than four. You could put five, six, seven, eight, whatever you want. I don't, I don't know the exact limit, but you can do quite a few. So if you look at this one, you see this one has more than four and you can blend between that if that's what you want to do. We have everything set up. For the most part, this looks good. Remember, you can actually remove or add more things here if you want. So if you think, oh, I don't like this, just go into here and reset it. If you don't want an XY pad, which why wouldn't you want that? But let's say you don't. There's an easier way to switch this. So what we can do is just go in here and erase this by hitting reset. Now this X parameter here, make sure this X, Y between pads is off. We can leave it in banks, but let's change this to something else like a switcher. Okay. Now it should switch between the, I don't want to interpolate the values either. I don't want it to blend between anything. And here it says percentages. I don't want percentages. I want bank names. That way we can see it on the screen. You see it here, and we have best. Let me turn on my guitar again. Mm -hmm. 
there we go. So I think that was fairly easy. I know my explanation maybe took more time than actually doing it yourself. And of course I have the EQ here. You could add more bands in this if you want. You could remove the room or add things to the room. Uh, you can mess with this. I think there's lots of versatility here and you can feel free to use the XY pad or just this. I have it called X here, but let's just change that to IR. And with this, I don't know how many you can do, like 25, no, you can probably up to 99, more than I want to do. So if you have lots of IRs you want to blend between and just check them like that, that's something you can do. Once you have everything the way you like it, save it. So let's call this test. I like to leave this other one blank so that way in the future you can just hop right to it and you don't have to go through all the stuff I did before, like erasing the GUI and everything. So now we have this test. If you think this is good, we're going to go into edit. We're going to go into export device. We're going to name it, let's say file name test. Set your genre or instrument here. I'm using it for guitar. I don't know. I guess we'd use this like maybe pop and or maybe metal and rock, maybe pop too. Put that in there. Whatever you want. And generalize for lots of different genres and then specific, I guess for just maybe one or two things. Put specific. Put your name in there. Chandler guitar. And you can put your email address, etc. If you're just doing this for yourself, I wouldn't even bother with this because it's not going to matter. But let's say in the future you wanted to give this to somebody else. Maybe you made your own guitar or your own IRs from your amp. You might want to do this. I think in the future you'll actually be able to sell this. You know, that's why they have a password generator. And you can put other information like, uh, oh, this is a test, whatever. And after you do that, just click OK. All right. What it's going to do is you saw it moved here. This is going to go to the default position. So in your IR here, I can put this in best or awesome or whatever you want, whatever you think the one it should default to is. So you can do everything here, but if you notice now it's over here. So now you can switch between all of these. If you want to add the GUI, check out my other video where I show you how to use the GUI editor and you can put your own picture there and add the knobs however you like. So hopefully this answered your question. It seems like it's a little bit difficult at first, but trust me, it's really easy. Once you get the hang of it, you can do, you know, all of them really fast. I could put, you know, all the IRs I wanted to inside that within, inside of devices within an hour if I wanted to. It can save you lots of time. And especially when you're, you know, going through stuff, having like three or four here that sound good for clean tones or for metal tones or rock tones really helps. So if you like this, give me a thumbs up. Leave me any questions or comments down below and be sure to check out all the other plugins at melderproduction.com. Till next time, see you.